the Devlin Radio Show. Midday, Saturday and Sunday. Only on News Talk ZB. This Monday marks the 40th anniversary of the underarm. One word, one gesture that since Feb 1st, 1981 has encapsulated everything we consider downright dirty and dastardly in sport. At the time, and do remember this was when there was only two TV channels in this country, games like this were watched by almost everyone. It was just outrageous at the time. Bowling the last ball underarm was something never before seen in international cricket. The sheer audacity of them willing to do anything to win, to be so blatantly unsporting, came as a complete shock to us all. Who would even stoop that low? We were flabbergasted at first, then anger soon followed. And do remember, it wasn't actually against the rules, but more anti the spirit of the game. Even the then Prime Minister Rob Muldoon got involved, saying the colour of their strip matched the courage in their hearts. It was dirty pool on a level that we just couldn't believe. An incident that rocked us, shocked us, and has stayed with us ever since. Although admittedly, 40 years later, I don't really hate them for it like I used to. On reflection, it was probably the best thing that happened to the sport because it galvanised the country. It gave us something we could all share together, a united hatred for those low-down, dirty rats from across the Tasman. Here it was a major deal, but over there, <laughs> they got over it quicker than the time it took the man facing Brian McKechnie to toss his bat away in disgust. The difference between our country's two sporting psyches never more ably demonstrated. We t- tend to think that we're above such skullduggery, while they simply shrug and act like it's all part of the game. The sandpaper sham in South Africa and the sledging against India recently both ably demonstrating that decades later, their attitude hasn't, and it's not ever going to change. The Devlin Radio Show. Midday, Saturday and Sunday. Only on Newstalk ZB.